What it do, man? Be wide through the hallway, man. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit, man. Live made a five. We back at it again, and we're gonna get straight to it. But before we do, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button when you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when I drop new content. All right, y'all. Let's get to it, man. I've been dropping content like every every 10 hours, I guess. I'm gonna try to drop as many videos as I can today. So I'm gonna start now. Let's get straight to it, man. We gonna be talking about Adrian Broner, and we gonna be talking about a dude signed with Jeezy, CTE label, Boston George. Okay, now from what I'm hearing now, Boston George, your dude from from Houston, right? He signed to Jeezy, CTE label. And I be I, I follow Adrian Bronner on my Instagram, right? And I know the last post he made has been about uh, people saying that Pacquiao was better than Mayweather or whatever. But then he put up the post that he was saying that him and Mayweather don't even talk no more, right? But then you remember him saying that he signed a fight deal with Mayweather, I think a five fight deal. So they just let y'all know that Adrian Bronner be capping a lot, man. He just be talking shit, bro, like real talk. You know, uh, in, in the pictures I just showed you, one of them is a rap video, right? So, you know, he boxed and he rap. But, you know, Adrian Brunner took that, he took that loss to, uh, damn, who was that? Um, I can't even think of a dude named the Mexican dude. You know, he got knocked down. He didn't get knocked out, but he got knocked down twice. You know, he eventually lost the fight. That's when he started falling off, you feel me? But it seemed like to me that Adrian Broner wanna be a rapper. You know, he wanna he wanna live that street life. He think that shit to glorify. He wanna he wanna be in the streets. You know, he wanna play with some dope and some shit like that. That's what it seemed like to me. Because from what I'm hearing, Boston George, you know, he a real nigga. He got he got chain, he got his change up or whatever. He respected out in Houston. So they say Adrian Broner, he went to Houston. I wanna say they was at the club and they say, you know, he was just being being himself, acting stupid, you know, wanting to you know, just I really don't know, man. It's like it's like they saying in so many words that he want. This how I'm taking it. To me, it seems like they say he want to be a street nigga. And I guess he got involved. I'm not saying this alleged because this is what I think. This is how I'm reading into it. It's like he got involved in some street shit or something where he just was trying to be a little bit too street for himself. And a real street nigga just went and put hands on him. You know, that's how I take it. Cause they say, oh boy. Old boy beat the shit out of Adrian Broner, man. They say uh, Adrian Broner crew or his team that nobody help him or whatever. So that says a lot too, man. Your crew don't help you, man. You must be in the wrong or, or you got a pussy ass crew, one or the other. You feel me? But being that you a world a world class fighting champion, what five different weight classes or four different some shit like that? Damn, you got your ass whooped by a civilian. Hmm. No matter if the nigga is a real nigga, street nigga, fighting all that shit, you trained though, bro. You trained and you took an L, man. They let, they let me know that you need to stop rapping and you need to focus more on your fucking boxing. Because boxing is where the money at. Why do niggas... I've never understood this. I made a video about this. Just like my video when I said people want to be rappers and then they turn into game members. Why do niggas want to be famous? He a boxer. He famous. He got money for that. He got hands. You know, he get he get paid. You know, he, he can have them good money fights. He still got a little name on him. Why the fuck do these niggas want to want to do something legal and then I always want to go the back a backwards route and now he want to rap and talk dope and snitch in and all this shit and, and I want to kill somebody or, or somebody kill me and all that type of shit. You know, that's... That's, that's kid shit, that's baby shit, and nigga need to grow the fuck up, man. Make your money and take care of your kids, bro. I be seeing your, your family on your Instagram. You got a beautiful family. Why the fuck you want to be out here in these streets playing with nigga, man? Everybody don't play out here, bro. The streets is real. I don't know why niggas be thinking this shit fake, man. Don't be watching these fucking videos and these niggas that they get on Instagram and be flashing and stunting, smiling with bitches beside them and think that's the fucking hood. No, that's not the fucking hood, nigga. The hood is real, man. Nigga get killed, nigga get robbed, nigga get smacked, nigga get slapped, nigga get stripped out here. There's a lot of shit that happened, bro. And you and you claim you from it. So you need to stop playing with it, man. Real shit. That's my mess to Adrian Bronner. My mess to Boston George is, shit, keep doing you, my nigga. Keep getting your money. Keep, keep, keep it up, man. Because I don't blame you. Ain't no nigga gonna play with me neither. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. If y'all think Adrian Brown just needs to stop that rap shit and get back to boxing, man. Be wide through the hallway. Y'all make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good shit. Bang that like button, man, like you mad at it, bro. Hit that damn notification bell like you mad at it, bro, so you can know when I'm dropping some new content. Till then, me and hold up for your shit. Do what you're supposed to do, know what you want to do. I'm out.